There's a saying that it's impossible to feel gratitude or to be grateful and to be depressed at the same time. And when you think about it, that's really true. So by all accounts, you know, I, I had bad days, believe me, but just taking that time to sit and try and find something beautiful or positive in the moment really does uplift one. So what I did is I started my gratitude diary, but I started it for myself. It was just a simple album on Facebook where each day I was going to post something I was grateful for and it would have a collage of visuals and a written write-up as well, some copy with it. And I realized that people were actually starting to really engage with this. What happened is my gratitude diary ended up sending people to me uh, for some inspiration and some tips from what I'd learned. Now, everyone knows the term early detection saves lives, but even although there's a call to action, people don't actually do it. A lot of my friends who are educated women were not having annual mammograms. So it's not only about creating awareness, it's about making people take action. So I had um, an oncology benefit of 200,000 Rand for my medical aid for, with Discovery. So I had gap cover with another company, um, but I never even needed to use it because Discovery Health paid for my entire cancer treatment from start to end, including the surgery which had come out of the, uh, the hospital benefit. And the people were absolutely amazing. They, they had great empathy. And I still remember thinking, I feel a bit sorry for them because I think if anyone phoned and they, they needed to chat, they, these people could, be, could get sucked into a long conversation because they were really that, that amazing. If I could give only one piece of advice to someone who's diagnosed with breast cancer, it would be to keep moving. So I think people think that when you diagnose, you need to curl up, at home and be sick. That's what they expect. But for me, one of my saving graces was just to keep on moving. Exercise, I am 100% convinced, helped me cope the way I cope with my treatment. So I've got a little mantra that is um, inhale love, exhale gratitude. So use the support, you know, take in all the love that's on offer and exhale gratitude. And for me, that helps me keep a, a positive mindset.